This is FHRC Brony Radio Controlling Cars, and this is the final review of the Traxxas E Revo 116 scale. Geronimo! But first, a little bit of an overview. The Traxxas Mini E Revo is a 116 scale all wheel drive monster truck that's essentially a smaller version of the large 8 scale E Revo. And yes, I considered the big E Revo an 8 scale. Although Traxxas did say it's a 10 scale, it's more of an 8 scale. Also, keep in mind that the E Revo is basically the electric version of the Nitro Revo. Alright, enough of the background stories. Let's begin the final review. Let's begin the Celestial chart with styling. Just like its 8th scale counterpart, the Mini E Revo is by far the best looking truck scaled down to a smaller size from its large brother, so it gets 23 points. The top speed is good, but it isn't really that impressive by modern standards. Just keep in mind this is a brushed E Revo, it's not the brushless VXL E Revo. So anyways, the Mini E Revo tops about 24 miles per hour, which is okay for a brushed RC, but like I said, this scoring section is based on brushless standards, so it gets 5 points. Handling is pretty good, it's not great, it's alright. It will traction roll every now and then, but it does grip pretty well. All in all, it gets 15 points. As far as acceleration is concerned, let's just put it this way. Wheelies on command. 22 points. Add it all together and the Celestial score is 65 out of 100, which is above average. It's not fast, okay? I mean, and I don't really expect this thing to be a speed demon. Yeah! I'll begin the lunar chart with durability. Durability is good, but it isn't terrible. Yes, I know, I did take it way too far by taking it to a skate park, but I can safely say the only thing I've broken this thing is upper and lower control arms. And yes, just a few days ago, I did strip a servo gear, but that was easily fixed. The front bumper lost its tabs that holds to the chassis, but it was still drivable. The only thing about the Mini E Revo's control arms, as far as fixing it goes, is you gotta do a handful of disassembly to get to the control arms. Overall, durability good, but not perfect, so it gets 19 points. With features and equipment, the Traxxas E Revo 116 scale is just your typical RC. You get a controller, you get a battery, you get a charger, and instructions. But that doesn't end there. I mentioned before that the Mini E Revo is based on the big E Revo 18 scale. Just like its 18 scale counterpart, the E Revo does have access to a second battery tray. And what you can do is you can actually add another battery for the Mini E Revo and use an external Y connector, either a series or parallel, and you can plug two batteries in for either speed or more runtime. I am still not done yet. The Mini E Revo shares the same chassis with the Traxxas Summit 116 scale, the Traxxas Slash 4x4 116 scale, and discontinue RCs from the 16 scale lineup such as the Chem Block Fiesta the Traxxas Rally Car, the Traxxas Kyle Busch NASCAR Truck, and the Mustang Boss 302. <laughs> wow, this makes the regular 110 scale Slash, Stampede, Rustler, and Bandit look like nothing. So, the Traxxas E Revo earns 20 points. Quality is a no-brainer. If you own Traxxas RCs for a while, the materials used in the Mini E Revo are just like any other models. So it gets 20 points. For value, $180 US, eh, I say it's an okay deal. The one of the best parts of the Mini E Revo is its convenience. You can do pretty much anything with this RC. You can pretty much bring it with you everywhere you go. For value, survey says 19 points. Add it up and the total lunar score is 78 points. And now, the final score of the Mini E Revo is 143 out of 200. It's not a bad score and it beats out the Helion Animus by a long shot in the small scale RC scene. Wonderful job, Traxxas.